Hi, welcome to my blog. My name is Masaki Moriyama. I was born and raised in Japan. I have been engaged in research and education as a professor of public health, faculty of medicine, Fukuoka University. My particular interest is in qualitative and sensory dimension of health. I have developed several methods to have people to become aware of and express their own feelings and to share them with others. Now I'd like to share what I have been doing and thinking with you who visit my blog. First point, reflect ideas by sensory thinking. First of all, I'd like to share my idea of sensory thinking to reflect and coordinate health and life-related ideas of people. I have been interested in applying student-centered learning for community people in Japan since 1980s. At that time, there were not any appropriate methods for subjects to reflect and organize their ideas of health and life. Therefore, I started new trials of valuing each people's own thinking and spoken words. My basic idea was to sort each people's important words related to health and life, such as words of concepts, things, events, experiences, etc., as a sequence. When one says something, words appear. If any person's words, concepts are successfully sorted as a sequence, the sequence or array will reveal a new meaning. My favorite offer is just like this. Sort your words or concepts as a sequence according to your sense or feelings or impressions such as frequent or infrequent, like or dislike, feel good or feel bad, and so on. Based on trials and errors, I developed methods such as two-dimensional mapping, hand-drawn face graph, symptomatic symbols, and Wi-Fi, what is important for you. Even today, these methods applied to various situations or problems in Japan. In this blog, I will show you each method. Second point, express one's inner feeling by sensory thinking. It is believed that group mentality has great value in Japan. Placing much value on group harmony, people may suppress individual feelings and senses in group settings. This tendency of self-suppression and accompanying pursuit of interpersonal and social harmony wa, is a core value in Japanese culture. According to the paper of Takano and Osaka 1999, however, when 15 Empirical studies are compared of Japan and the U.S. on individualism and or collectivism. Fourteen studies did not support the common view of Japanese group mentality. It is interesting that the group mentality is not detected when people are evaluated individually in experimental situations. This paper tells that each individual has different inner thoughts even though group mentality appears in real social situations ostensibly. The methods I developed to help people to unlock self-suppression, they are encouraged to take a look at their own feelings, express them in the unique way to each method, put them into words, and share them with other people. They share their own special narratives and ideas 
about their health and their life. I'd like to share how people exchange their ideas. Third point, our sense of touch as a platform of reflection and narration. We can use our hidden senses, such as our sense of touch for reflection and narration. Living on small islands with many mountains, volcanoes and accompanying seasonal climates, Japanese people have been under the constant effect of natural blessings, as well as natural disasters of typhoon and earthquake. Under these circumstances, people need to be sensitive to each other and also to nature and develop their sensitive culture. Now, under the rapid development of the information society, people have less time to reflect about themselves and to be sensitive to their surroundings. In these challenging circumstances, sensory thinking strategy is effective. Recently, I have added touch sense as a new platform of reflection and narration to my methods. Our sense of touch will make us more conscious. Fourth point, constructivism and sensory thinking. When I did my presentation of sensory thinking at a poster session of ARA 1992, several participants came to my session, indicated me that the perspective of my presentation was constructivism. Although I had not been familiar with educational philosophy, this indication evoked my interest to constructivism as a discipline of my research. By this visual blog, I'd like to encourage my friends and my students to sense, reflect, narrate, thought, construct, communicate, and share their hidden ideas and realize their uniqueness.